Pokemon Go is life, at least for the millions of players who've swarmed the mobile game since its launch. While developer Niantic plans on making the game more robust, balanced, and stable, much of the game hasn't met players' high expectations. Easy Prey one of the most important parts of Pokemon is the ability to battle wild Pokemon. While Pokemon Go allows users to wander around and go find a ghastly, there's really no fighting involved. Instead, capturing wild pocket monsters has become a game of ring toss. By bouncing a Pokeball off a circle surrounding your prey, you can attempt to capture. It's like an abridged version of a real Pokemon experience. Rural Ruminations Pokemon Go is catered to players in populated and tech-savvy areas. Because it's essentially a reskin of Niantic's previous game, Ingress, every Pokestop is a place which Ingress players had previously marked. If you live in a small town, your local game probably won't have many stops. None of this really fits Pokemon, where trainers spend most of their time in forest with an occasional visit to a small town or gym. Granted, wandering through the Wi-Fi-less woods to play a mobile game isn't really safe, but for now, Pokemon Go remains a game optimized for city folk. Terrible Tech if your phone isn't the newest model, or it's slightly cloudy, or you're stuck in an overloaded server, Go's location services have been shady. Players have spent days on end waiting for their game to maintain a consistent connection. Even worse, you finally find a distant Pokestop, and you inexplicably lose your GPS signal. It's enough to make you want to stomp an Oddish. And those guys are adorable. Pay to play. Because Pokemon Go is a mobile app, microtransactions are expected. But because it's an actively competitive mobile app, those with cash can quickly rise to the top. Wallet Warriors are an issue with just about every multiplayer online game made for smartphones, but Pokemon is a property that's basically intended for kids. Putting a paywall in front of a little aspiring Ash Ketchum just feels nasty. Lousy Launch Niantic servers just can't handle the app's traffic. Games sometimes freeze immediately after important captures, if you can log on at all. While portions of the app have smoothed out, there are still plenty of aspects that simply don't work consistently enough to offer a truly enjoyable experience. Everything still feels like it's in beta mode, but the future still looks exciting. Hackemon. As with any competitive app, there are already cheaters out there. Within days of release, it was easy to find files helping players obtain endless currency, level up their Pokemon without any effort, and visit local gyms without ever leaving their bathroom. One would hope that the moral lessons of Pokemon would somehow carry over into the real-world Pokemon Go etiquette, but as long as there are people out there who can't be trusted, there'll always be disappointment and distrust. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos like the one you just saw, and leave us a comment to let us know what's disappointed you in Pokemon Go.